Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here again with another superhero deep dive for Marvel's Midnight Suns. Thanks again to Marvel, Firaxis, and 2K for working with me on this series. It's honestly been a blast so far, and reading all of your comments and questions has actually been better than the time I found out that Aunt May almost married Dr. Octopus in the comics. Had no idea. Yeah, that's real. Super fun fact. If your spidey senses have been tingling since you saw the thumbnail of this video, you might want to get that checked. Unless, of course, you've just been bitten by a radioactive spider, in which case, just brace for your incoming superpowers. This is going to be a fun one. I'm excited to show you what your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is truly capable of. Let's talk playstyle first. True to his nature, Spider-Man is really fast-paced, but how does that manifest in a card game exactly? Well, in addition to having a bunch of quick or free abilities, he really excels at just whipping around and using the environment much more than other heroes on the roster. In addition to generally doing more environmental damage than the other heroes, he has some great tools to boost his ability to do a lot more with less. So, the first card I want to bring to your attention is called Opportunist. It's important to understand that in Marvel's Midnight Suns, the heroism that you're building up isn't just consumed by playing heroic cards, it's also used by your squad to interact with the environment. However, Peter has a few tricks in his web to swing around this. After playing Opportunist, Spider-Man can use two environmental attacks without using any heroism at all, and then he's also granted two extra moves on the turn to set up his positioning correctly. On upgrade, Opportunist will boost the amount of damage dealt via these environmental attacks, and one of the late game mods you could run into would even draw the most recent attack card you played. I can't think of many skill cards available to Peter that you'd want to replace Opportunist with. It's just that good, and I would consider it very core to almost all of his decks. Now, it should be no surprise that the Amazing Spider-Man also has an amazing passive ability. If you've been fortunate enough to spend quality time with Peter Parker, you can unlock his passive ability called Bring Down the House. Now, in true Firaxis fashion, you'll have a 15% chance for environment attacks to refund their heroism cost. That might not seem like much, but if you're using Spidey effectively, that's likely to trigger once or twice in any given combat scenario. More if you're lucky, less if you're not. Uh, his level 2 passive is a huge upgrade, though. It's like going from a cobweb, which is still effective, albeit a bit dusty, to a brand spanking newly created web that's still being maintained by your best multi-legged buddy. Oh, thanks, Blade. Where did your shades go? Instead of just the 15% refund chance, it makes the first environment attack each encounter a guaranteed freebie. Now, you may have noticed by now that while Spider-Man is great with the environment, he might be lacking a little bit in the damage department. At his core, he's great at dealing with minions and finishing off weakened enemies, but what if we need more damage out of Mr. Parker? Well, I gotcha. We can play Web Slinger. Web Slinger is not only a free card play, but it grants strengthen, giving Peter a more powerful punch for the remainder of the turn. And it's well worth upgrading because instead of becoming exhausted, the card will be able to be replayed multiple times during combat. Now, one of Spider-Man's heroic cards, Web Throw, actually accomplishes quite a few things with only one card play. Not only are you going to get a forceful knockback, sending people twice as far and dealing twice the amount of impact damage as a regular knockback would, but you'll also be able to cast it in any direction regardless of where Spidey is standing. We're not done yet, though, because enemies near the initial targeting point will also take damage, making this a pseudo AoE attack that's having an impact on multiple parts of the combat arena. Now, if you invest in upgrading Web Throw, you'll double its damage, and one of the potential late game mods could see this applying marked as well. It was once said that with great power comes great responsibility. And there is some debate as to how that was set. I'll leave that up to you guys. I'm pretty sure they said this in reference to Spider-Man's Midnight Sun's heroic ability. It's called Infernal Spider. This one is so powerful that it needs to have exhaust. Your timing needs to be on for this, but when it is, game over Hydra. Infernal Spider sees Peter taking to the air, taking his true form. And when he lands, the next three Spider-Man cards played become free and won't use up any card plays. When upgraded, you'll also draw an extra Spider-Man card, making Infernal Spider viable in a lot more scenarios. And a potential late game mod brings back a familiar mechanic from our previous showcase, Redraw, which in this instance adds a block to our Spider-Friend. 
to web things up nicely here, Spider-Man will best fit into squads that have other ways of dealing damage to tank your enemies, but his basic abilities that chain, use the environment, take advantage of quick and free card plays, gives him a ton of utility. He's even got some battlefield control going on with his super awesome whip ability. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to both the Marvel's Midnight Suns channel and my personal channel, which will include a ton of Midnight Suns content, including a full playthrough as soon as I'm able to show you. My spidey senses are also telling me that you should check out the description for links to all things Midnight Suns and hit the bell to be notified for every future upload if you can. Thanks again to Marvel and 2K for partnering with me on this series, and thanks to Firaxis for creating some of my favorite games of all time. We will see you in the next one. Yeah!